Hello, good morning guys. Uh, today I will be explaining about the trigonometric ratio. So the first thing that you need to understand before learning this lesson is the Pythagoras theorem. And uh, as you know that the Pythagorean theorem can only be applied in a right angle triangle. So in here, uh, we're going to learn about the ratio of all of the sides in a right angle triangle. So uh, let's just start. Okay, the first thing that you need to understand if when you want to uh, uh, know the values of uh, the trigonometric ratio, you need to understand on how to name all of the sides. So as you have learned before, you have know on how to name this side, this, this AB side, right? So because this is in front of the 90 degrees, we call it the hypotenuse, right? These two are the legs, right? So this is the legs and this is the legs. But for this case, in the trigonometric ratio, you need to put some angles or one angles in one of the sides, which is not the 90 degree. It can be here or it can be here. Okay, let's just start from one angle. I'm going to start from one angle. So I'm going to start by making an angle in here. Okay, let's name that uh, angle with the name theta. Okay, so this is what we call theta, right? So this is the angle theta. Okay, so if I have an angle here, the hypotenuse is here, and we name the angle in front, sorry, the side in front of the angle, we name this in front, this leg, we call it the opposite side. The opposite. And the angle, uh, the side in which it's next to the angle, which is this one, this is what we call the adjacent. Okay, so let's practice this, that first before we continue. Okay, I'm going to start with drawing a right angle triangle. Let's say I'm going to draw it like this. Okay, so the right angle is about here. Let's name all of the vertex. I'm going to name it A, B, C. It can be anything, X, Y, Z. So it's just a uh, vertex. Okay, so the first thing you do is you name all of the sides with hypotenuse opposite and adjacent okay so the first thing is the hypotenuse because you have already learned about that so let's name that so the side in front of the 90 degree this one is what we call the hypotenuse right okay and then if i have an angle it can be anywhere it can be a or b so i'm gonna draw it this time in here let's name it different i'm gonna name it with alpha this is alpha Okay, so alpha is the angle, right? And then if the angle is in here, and so the opposite side is in front of this angle. Okay, so in front of this angle here, in front of this angle, we call it the opposite. And the next one here is the adjacent. Okay, let's try one more time. I'm going to draw a right angle triangle again. So I'm going to draw like this. Okay, so the right angle is about here. Let's name it with other names like P, Q, and R. I'm going to name that with P, Q, and R. And then I have an angle in one of these uh, vertex. I have an angle in here. Let's name this with beta this time is beta okay so beta is the angle okay so name all of the side with hypotenuse adjacent and upside so again in front of the 90 degree in front of the 90 degree we call it the hypotenuse okay in front of the angle in which we want to calculate this one here the beta it means that this is the opposite and the last one is the adjacent Okay, keep in mind that this is very important uh, because you don't want to swap calculation, so you need to understand this one, okay? Okay, let's move on to the next one. So in here, uh, notice that I write something below the title is Soh uh, Toa. This uh, will help you to memorize the formulas that you are going to use. So Soh means sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? Sah so means 
this is s o and h is so right and then we have uh cha it's cosine equals to a is for adjacent and h is for hypotenuse so it's cha right c a and h and the last one is the tangent it's t so it's for tangent is equals to OA, which is upside over adjacent. So this tangent upside adjacent. So what does this mean? So if we if we have an angle here, which is theta, so the sine theta is will be equals to this opposite side, the length of this side, the opposite over the hypotenuse. And then for the cosine, it will be the ratio of the adjacent side, which is this one and the hypotenuse and last one for tangent we have the opposite of adjacent so just remember that if the uh you need to name all of these uh sides before you determine which number is it because in here the specific angle is this one here the theta it will be different if the angle is in here it will be different so for now just use this one Okay, I will show you an example. So let's say we have a right angle triangle like this. We have all of the side, which is 3, this one is 3, this one is 4, and this one is 5. And we have an angle in here, which we call the theta. So when we, when we want to know the values of sine, cosine, and tangent of, the, of this angle, the first thing that you need to do is to name all of the side with hypotenuse, adjacent, and opposite. Okay, so let's start from the, the, from the angle or uh, so the side that you uh, have already uh, learned in the previous lesson, which is the hypotenuse. So remember that the hypotenuse is always the longest side, and it's, it's always in front of the 90 degree in a right triangle. So this one here, right, because this is 90 degree, and this one, this one means that this is what we call the hypotenuse. Let's name that with hypotenuse. Okay, so the next one is the angle, so the side in front of the angle so we know that the angle that we are looking for with uh, which we use in is this one here the theta so the side in front of the angle in front of the angle we call it the opposite so let's name this with opposite okay it means that the the other side the the one that's left this is what we call the adjacent so let's write it down adjacent this is what we call the adjacent Okay, so after you name all of the side with the corresponding angles in here, you can write down the value of sine, cosine, and tangent by using the sohjah toa that I have given you before. Okay, so sine is opposite over hypotenuse, right? It's soh, right? So opposite is this one here, the opposite, which is 3, so just write down 3. And the h, which is the hypotenuse, is this 5 here, so it's 3 over 5. And simple as that. If you want to write it down in decimal, so you can do that. So it's 0 0.6. The next one is the cosine. Again, cosine is cha, right? Cha. C A H. But cha means A is for adjacent. And here in this uh question with the corresponding angle, which is theta, the adjacent is this one here, which is four. So just write down four. And the hypotenuse is this five, right? So it's four over five. Just leave it like this in fraction, in the simplest fraction, or you can write it down in uh, decimal, so 0 0.8. Okay, the last one is tangent. So it's tangent, which means it's toa. Toa means tangent opposite over adjacent. So opposite is this 3, right? This 3 is the opposite, and the adjacent is 4. Okay, just 3 over 4, or you can write down 0 0.75. Okay, uh, this is the second example. Uh, again, you can use the same exact method like I have shown you previously. Just um, remember the soh right? So this is soh to determine the value of sine, cosine, and the tangent of an angle. So uh, I have a right angle triangle here. The right angle is in here. So let's name it with PQR. Let's let PQR. So the P is the vertex of 90 degree. Okay, so the first thing that you need to understand uh, you need to do is to name all of the side with the corresponding angle okay we know that we have hypotenuse we have opposite and we have adjacent right so the the, 
the thing that you need to do first is to name all of the side. Okay, so let's name them. Okay, this the angle, the side in front of the 90 degree or the longer side, we always call it the hypotenuse. Okay, the next one is the side in front of the angle that correspond to the sine cosine uh, tangent, which is theta this, in this case. So in front of the angle that we want to know the value of sine cosine tangent is what we call the opposite. Okay, and it means that the other side is what we call the adjacent. So you have known, you have named all of the side with hypotenuse adjacent and opposite uh, to the corresponding angle in here, which is theta. And then we can use the sohjah to, to find out the value of sine, cosine, and tangent. Okay, the sine, again, is sine is OH, which is opposite over hypotenuse, right? And then we know that the opposite here is a 12, so it's just 12 centimeter. And the hypotenuse is 13 centimeter, which is this one. Okay, because they both have the same unit, so just you can just cancel the unit, it's just 12 over 13. We don't really need to write it down in decimal unless uh, it uh, asks in the question, just leave it like this, it's 12 over 13, without any units, okay? So the next one is the cosine, again, cosine is cha, right? C-A-H, so it's A-H, A stands for adjacent, and H is for hypotenuse, right? So you can just see in the um, triangle triangle that you uh, name, right, with the adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse, and then write down the value of that side. So adjacent is 5, just 1, and the hypotenuse is 13, so it's just 5 over 13. So you write down the scenery because both of the sides have the same exact um, unit, so you can just write down 5 over 13. And the last one is for tangent. Um, is this one here, toa, right? So it's upside over adjacent. So opposite is this one here, is 12, and the adjacent is 5, so it's 12 over 5. Again, because we have the same uh, unit, you just write down 